with Mike. You are the executive uh, director and editor of P.P. Simmons News and Ministry Network, a huge, huge viral network that reaches around the world. I know you do a lot of ministry, you and the folks that work with you, uh, to uh, atheists and uh, evolutionists that come out of atheism. They come out of this evolution lie, and, uh, and, and, they, t- and, and they want to turn to God somehow. How, how do you direct them? What, what religion would you send them to? I mean, how, how, do, you, how do you deal with that? Well, you know, we, we do a lot of video and quick material, which, uh, which uh, you know, exposes the logical fallacy of atheism. And once people honestly take a look at that and, you know, just sort of put aside their pre, pre, uh, uh, you know, presuppositions about, you know, worldviews, et cetera, and just take a, a fresh look at things, you know, eventually, honestly, many people do come to us and say, look, you know, I really do get it that atheism is indefensible. You know, what religion should I join? Right. And so, so you know, let's, let's, uh, let's spend the next couple of minutes t- telling people what, uh, you know, giving people advice on, on how to pick a religion, right? Right. right? So if you leave atheism, and now you're looking for a religion, you might, you might think about joining with the Buddhists, because Buddhism is sort of like, sort of like atheism. It's very comfortable for the atheist, because it's spiritual atheism. Right. It, is, it is essentially, you know, they don't acknowledge any personal deity. It's right. just there's a spiritual reality, there's an, there's an earthly reality, and when you die, you just sort of meld into that spiritual reality. There's no, there's no God out there that intervenes in the affairs of men, right? Right. And then, so if, but if that doesn't appeal to you, you can go the complete opposite direction. So let's say you've, you've spent 50 years denying the existence of any God or gods. Now you want all the gods. So now what you should really consider is a Hinduism, because if you join up with the Hindus, they believe there are actually millions of gods. Right. And all of these millions of gods, they have a certain role, and they direct every bit of minutia in, in the person's life. I mean, that's why the Hindus, that's where the caste system comes from, because everybody gets what they deserve. Right. If you're born in poverty today, that means you were an ugly person in your previous life. Right. I mean, the, the Hindus have God after God, millions of them. You can go that route, or you can go, if you want to go the militant route, let's say you want to be a militant religious person, you go with the Muslims. And the Muslims, man, they will they require you to die for your religion. The only way to get into heaven as a Muslim is to die in a holy jihad. Be a militant religionist, join with the Muslims. That's my advice. Or, if you want a good fire insurance, let's say you, 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 you're not an atheist anymore, but you don't really want to put much effort into it, but you want good fire insurance. You know, just in case there is a hell, you don't want you and your kids going to hell, just in case there is one. You want to live your own life like you did as an atheist, you want good fire insurance in case there is a hell. Well, you join up with the Catholics. Does that mean all Catholics are religious? No, it doesn't mean that. It just means Catholicism is really awesome fire insurance. You get baptized as a baby, you're in, boy, that's it. Now, if you really want to go on the fringe, you want to be a fringe person, you're not really one that goes with the crowd, you want to join a fringe group, that's fine, I can appreciate that. What you do is you go and you join up with the Zoroastrian. Zoroastrianism is a pre-Islamic uh, Middle Eastern religion uh, which, uh, in which they worship the god Ahura Mazda. In fact, if you, uh, if you uh, drive a Mazda car, you're driving a car named after the god Mazda. That is the god of Zoroastrianism. In fact, the founder of the Mazda car company was a Zoroastrian. Or if you really want to go fringe, you join up with the Jedi Knights. There are actually hundreds of thousands of Jedi Knights. It's a bona fide religion in in um, uh, many parts of the world, and you can be a Jedi Knight and just tap into the, the, the force that's out there, uh, sort of uh, abstractly floating around out there. Uh, or, if you really want to take this thing seriously, what I would personally recommend is that you just calm down and hit the restart button on all of that. Just let it all die. Just unplug the record player and just let the record slowly come to a stop, and just relax, and because you and I, Carl, know that if anyone wants to please God, he must first abandon atheism. In other words, admit that God exists, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, not seek a religious story, a religious narrative, a religious cult, but those who diligently seek him. And this is what I did 20 years ago. I bowed my head, I say, God, I can no longer accept the religion of atheism. I cannot no longer defend that. I want to know you personally. And I want to know the power that you obviously have 
uh, imparted into my life. Right. Folks, I'm telling you, if you do that and just wait, wait for him, he will show himself powerfully to you if you honestly and earnestly seek him. That Thank is you. our advice once you abandon atheism. Thank you, Mike. Romans 10, 9. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead and you shall be saved. There's the gospel message in a nutshell. Thank you so much, Mike Shoesmith, Executive Director of the P.P. Simmons News and Ministry Network. You're listening to Freedom Friday with Carl Gallops. Mallory Bardwell, your world-famous producer. When we come back, we'll have Dr. Grace, the editor of World Tribune, Politics and Culture. And then we'll take your phone calls as well if you want to be a part of the show. Brandon Gallops coming up right after that.